Good morning and sliding into, into afternoon. Judy Allen here with Adventurous Stampin'. And if you want to keep up with us and everything that we're doing and everything that's going on, just be sure to follow us here on Facebook and also on YouTube and Instagram. We put everything out there, right? So today we're doing something a little bit different. Because of, this is a cute, this, this robot kit is really cute. It's not paper pumpkin and I wanted to share that with you today. Stampin' Up! sales kits that are not paper pumpkin and that's what this is that we're going to be doing today it's all inclusive it comes with a block the stamp set this particular kit comes with two ink pads that you get as well as some stickers and some other stamps as well too now, i love it because it's easy to carry and go but i wanted to show it to you because it's just so cute and fun and i just want to do something quick simple and easy today and share with you what i found so fun there is Paper Pumpkin, but Paper Pumpkin is a subscription or it's a prepaid, so that's how you get it. So it's totally different and from the aspect, it's still a kit, but it's different than what we're doing today because this you can order anytime and you don't have to be a subscriber or anything. It's part of what Samping Up sells. They sell a number of different kits and one of them is even a magnetic board. So just to give you an idea. So let's go down to the hands and I'll show you what I'm talking about, how quick and simple this is. All right, so I've gone ahead and at least got some things tailored up. But this is similar in Paper Pumpkin in the fact that you get instructions and you get everything in the kit, all right? So you don't have to get anything else because everything's in the kit. But what I love this one is the fact that you can order these anytime you want. I'm just going to move some of this out of the way. It's even got cute envelopes. Ooh, look how cute that is. And I'm not going to do like I do on Paper Pumpkin, make an alternative. I'm just doing something simple today because I want to do something simple and show you something simple. All right. So this one actually has decals in it in this particular kit, which I like. That makes it simple and fun. And I know I have some peeps that love doing fun. So I'm going to open this up and we're just going to simply make according to this. If you're out there, please say hello and I'll be sure to try to say hello also. I somehow lost my screen. Okay, there we go. I'm back. It's Wednesday. Whoop, whoop. So there you go. It's not supposed to have issues on Wednesdays, right? It's the middle of the week, We're getting ready for the weekend. So there you go. All right, so this one is very just simple. This is the first one that we're going to do. Actually, does not have any stamping other than I'm going to put this one out of the way too because I went ahead and I have enough blocks so I could go ahead and do some of the stuff up front. So the only stamping this one has is to do on just the message itself. I've sort of stacked these aside so I could make them easier for us. All right, so all I'm gonna do is step a message on here that says, hello, Jennifer, and hello, Lindy. It's good to see you, it's good to see both of you. So this one's, all this is, all I have to do on this one card here is I just got this one stamping here. Let's be friends. Let's be friends. Boop, boop. And I got my friends on the line here with me. Yay. And we're just going to stamp it. In this particular first one, that's all we're going to be stamping. Okay. So it's like I said, it's cute and fun. The rest of it's going to be stickers. How fun is that? I can't tell you the last time I actually just sat down and used stickers. So all we're going to do on this one here, they have you using this here, card stuck here. This is, um, here's your actual card base. But everything we're going to be doing is on here, and then we're going to put this on with dimensionals. So this is going to be like this here, and I'm going to set what we stamped here. And we got some cute little eyes, googly eyes, that we're going to be using. So they show us right off the bat, they're using this head. Let's see if I can even put mine in the same place. Hmm. All right, and we got a square body right here. So if you, it's one of these things that if you've ever been like, I'm not sure I can stamp, but this sort of just takes away the excuse, right? And then we got this one here that we're going to use. So all I'm doing is basically looking at the instructions that I showed you and putting it down. Oh, I actually had two things of stickers. Uh-oh. Yay. Oh, I did not know that. I didn't see I didn't catch that when I unboxed it. All right, so this is it. We're gonna do that there. And then I'm gonna put this on here with, doesn't show me what I'm gonna do it with. So therefore I get my choice. I'm gonna use dimensionals because that's what they have. They didn't give me any adhesive. So I'm taking it that it's gonna be on a dimensional. 
Because when they give you these kits, everything you need is in the kit, right? And look here. Let's be friends, and we're going to turn around and just put some dimensionals on the back here. And it's a card. Just a quick and simple card. You can write your own message. Um, I have some folks that would most probably stamp all over it with the stamps because they you got cute little stamps in here so if you wanted to sit there and add more stamping to it that you could but I'm just sticking with the instructions just to show you how simple these are and how fun they are oops I got static electricity in me You know, and it doesn't matter if you get that perfectly on straight or not. This is nothing but being fun. Now, the only other thing they do here, did they put any eyes? They put some eyes on this guy here. So, we're going to put this some googly eyes here. They looks like they used some of this green here. Let's see. They used a big eye, just like it shows there. And then they used a small eye. Just covering up the spot there, right? And there you go. There is your card, and it's nice because you can wiggle those eyes. All right, let's go on to card number two. Now, card number two in here, they have you doing stamping. All right, just to give you an idea, I'm gonna do some stamping here. I've gone ahead and put the blocks together. So, I'm gonna do happy birthday first. And I said I did all my blocks, let's see here. Okay, I'm not seeing what I did with that right off the bat, so just a second. Let's go ahead and get our robots on and we'll find where I did my... Uh. Okay, so we're going to take the robots. We have two different kinds of robots. So I'm going to start with the one in the middle first. And he is orange. Yay! And the reason why I could have put the two stamps together, but the thing is, I would have created a gap. And I'll show you. If I can get this all inked up good, let's see how that's going to look. Can you see that? Okay, I didn't get that inked up good, so I need to do that a little bit better. So anyway, you see how his neck stretches there out just a little bit. So I, did, I was going to actually take the body of the stamp and put it right next to it. And I didn't think I could really get up next to it with them both side by side. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this guy here. We're going to stamp a happy birthday in a minute. And then we're going to do the body. And the body, oh, since I already have these, I'm going to hit more blocks instead of use them. But that's what I like about this too. Let me try it this way and see if I can ink it up better. Is, is that this comes with the block. So all of the kits that Stampin' Up! has, just the regular kits you can order anytime, they all have a block in them. So they make a perfect gift to give to anybody. Actually, all of them make perfect gifts doesn't matter whether it's this or paper pumpkin and I'm just gonna stamp this here and now what I did here is I'm lining up the neck here I hope I am I believe I am okay I didn't quite do it so that's what I was concerned about and didn't quite do that but I have a way that I can fix that later if it really bothered you this is what I would do there in fact, I think if I did it over, let's do it this way. Because they don't tell you which way to do it. Let me do it this way, though. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the body first. Then it'll be easier for me to align the neck. Because I have a shadow. You know what? I didn't turn the lights off here. So it's creating a shadow more than normal. But I can see. I can see. I can see. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, see, if you, if you feel like you messed up and you weren't totally satisfied, just flip it over. Hello, Lourdes. <laughs> Alright, so then I'll just turn around and stamp the head again. And then, oh yeah, this is much easier. So, it actually was easier to stamp the body first and then the head. And I could actually line up the head. I actually was had a shadow going on. Okay, there we go. So, there we go. Now, we have two, the other little robot, and I'm gonna do it the same way. I found that easier to line up the head. I don't think this one, the other one, has a neck like this one did. But I'm still gonna do it the same way. Because best I can tell, it does, it has a little neck. 
So same thing. We're just going to go ahead and stamp this, except this one, the instructions has us stamping twice. So this is a pretty cool kit, the fact that it's got two ink spots here, right? So always save your ink spots. If you think you're never going to do a kit again, it's fine. Save it anyway. You can give it to somebody else, which is always nice too. I'm going to go ahead and get the bodies on, and then I'll get the head. So you just want to ink this up really good. I mean, the thing is, if you feel like you didn't get enough ink or it didn't come out as much as you want, that's fine. Use a blender pen and color it as much as you want. I have some of those and we can get the ink off of there. Okay, there we go. So we're just going to add the heads, which sorts of sounds funny, but it's cute because we're adding a robot head, right? And then from there, they just have us putting stickers on and I got to do a happy birthday. So that means I gotta find the stamp. I see it now. I couldn't find it a while ago, but I found it now. Lost and found. Oh yeah. So it's easier, and you see here, it's much easier to put the stamp the body and then put the head on. But how fun is that, right? How fun is that? All right, so the only other thing we gotta do with this for stamping is we have to sit there and stamp happy birthday. And I have some, so if you're wondering, yes, you know, if you, if you get more than one kit through time, which I have, I've gotten different kits, I just save these and I have plenty and I also have mine from Paper Pumpkin too. So you just sort of get a collection then. There we go. So now for us, it's just a matter of assembling, right? And cleaning off the stamps because we're going to use them here in a minute. But uh, I'm going to clean this off. So if you're wondering what I'm doing... All I'm doing is I've got, <laughs> you'll see what I did. I just threw them all in here. It's just bad habit. So I just need to clean this off. But it works. So I gotta clean it up sometime, right? See the now or later. So now I'm just gonna put the bling on here. I shouldn't say bling, it's really dimensionals. But we are gonna add some googly eyes, right? So this has instructions to add some googly eyes. But see how cute this is? This is just cute. Cute, cute. All right, so we're gonna add a bow tie, it looks like. We're gonna add a little green bow tie over here. So we can get the little stickers off. I'm gonna take the whole thing, that's what I was gonna do. I had you put a little bow tie there. Look how cute that is. And then we're gonna put some hearts. And then we're gonna put some orange googly eyes on these guys. So let's get our orange googly eyes. It looks like everybody's got the same size eye on this one versus different sizes. But I like it, because you know what, when you shake it, those eyes shake. I think that's what makes it so fun, because you know what, you don't have to get everything perfect in it, because it's fun, right? So do kids, or someone that you give this to cares that it's perfect or not? No. All they're gonna see is those little googly eyes. See those little googly eyes? Yeah. All right, then we're just gonna take this and put it up on dimensionals. And then this card will be done. So how simple was that? And see, there's my mistake in the first one. I could have gone and colored that in, but I really didn't wanna have to do that. So that is one thing about these little kits that are nice. It doesn't matter if it's this kit that you can buy anytime you want. Or the only thing with these, when you buy anytime you want, when they're out, they're out, all right? So if you love this little cute one right here and you want it, go get it. It's one of those things when they're out, they're out. So there you go. There's our second card. Now we're going to move on to our third cute card. Whoop. Looky there. Look at that robot. All right, so let's get this one. Now this one's cute too. I like it because it's got little clouds already on it. We're just gonna add some stickers that are flowers and we're gonna stamp, let's be friends. Let's see here if we can find our little. So this one doesn't actually have you stamping on white and moving it. This one here, we're just gonna literally 
stamp let's be friends and we're gonna stamp our robot and the rest of it's gonna be stickers right okay so we're gonna put let's be friends on here that's the so this is the same thing as we had on the first one let's be friends So when you, like I said, this is quick and simple. Now this one I want to do right, right? Because when I go put this robot on, I want to do it right. Now this one which switches up the head with the body. So that's what they've done is they've changed up the head and the body. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this up and blue up. We did the body first, right? That's right. Let me go back and do the body first. Because we found that it just works a lot better. All right, so when we stamp this up, same thing. We'll do this body first, then we'll come to the other. I don't know about you guys, but here in San Antonio, it is going to be up to 90 degrees today. Feeling like summer. We're already on drought restrictions. Stage one. So it's all about staying cool and keeping plants. And if you plant a garden or anything like that, keep everything well watered because it doesn't like the heat you see how cute I messed up on the head there I didn't get the head but you know what I'm just gonna come back over all right there we go yay all right so that is the end of our stamping now we're gonna put this up on with some dimensionals flowers here and it's a done deal so it's just like I said it's just cute and fun I like it because I got some peeps that love stickers but the other thing I like it because it's just it's just quick and easy right it's something to carry with me I had to go to the doctor's office this morning could have carried it with me but I knew I wasn't going to stay long since I was in first thing but you know what? It's like so I like. So you can take this anywhere you want to go. So there we go. We have three quick and easy stamps. Stamps, stamps, uh, stamped cards here. With minimal stamping on the first one. Look how minimal that was. You know, my messes go along. Here was the second one, and here's the third one. Now the one thing I did miss here that they did put googly eyes on this one. I missed the googly eyes. All right, they put the googly eyes on. But see how simple those were? Those are just very three quick and simple. This kit has enough in here to make nine of these. So three each of each one of these. And like I said, it's just quick and simple. You can see the time it took to make it for us here on the video. And you could do it just even quicker by making them all of them. So there you go. There are our three cards. Very simple, very easy to make. So with that, let me get back up here. I want to thank you for joining in. And I hope you enjoyed that. Because it's always nice sometimes just to have something that's just simple. And that's what I think is beautiful about this kid. It is not only cute and adorable, but it's just simple. All right? So enjoy this. Follow us to keep up with everything else that we got going on. There's always something going on. we got a retreat coming up. We, gosh, we're always making cards of some sort doing something and getting into something so follow us and keep up with us and we'll share as we go along be blessed and have a great week and i will see you next week on wednesday with keep it simple or stepping up and we will do the fortune uh, crane of fortune stamp set and the beautiful paper that comes with that all right be blessed and see you next week bye